Okay, so welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at Mythic Legions Perp Lore made by the Four Horsemen. And before we get started, I just want to say anybody who is new to this channel, please smash that like button, subscribe and share and leave comments down below and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any type of content that I am putting up. So with that being said, guys, let's take a look at this guy's accessories. He comes with a plethora of accessories. So let's get on with it. That way we're not here forever, but this video is definitely enjoyable. All right, so starting off, we have a actual like neck type piece that goes over onto his shoulders to actually make him look bigger. Uh, and it has, you know, some mountings for, I apologize for the phone ringing in the background. I, uh, you know, <laughs> always at the wrong times, you know, the phone's always ringing, but it's always a telemarketer. So please just ignore it. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, so this guy here, as you can see, he has his armor on him. Uh, and this is just an extra piece, which I will go over as I add it on. And then he comes with, two shoulder pieces that go on, which I will go over as well. He comes with an alternate head and this alternate head is absolutely gorgeous. Now the Battle Cat version, and I forget that one's name. Uh, so if anybody knows the name, please put it in the comments down below. That way um, I can remember, but I don't remember his name. I do have him. Uh, he comes with a green version, you know, green, uh, yeah, green head. And I think the eyes are orange or yellow I can't remember or maybe they're green I, I, I can't remember but uh yeah so this is a great head sculpt I love it the troll head sculpt on them very nicely done it's all purple with the green eyes and then the tusks that are coming out of his mouth very nice very nicely painted very well done great sculpt by the horseman and of course he comes with his tail which I did not put on him which I will do during this uh, video and then he comes with another you know they all come with these leather straps to hold the swords or knives or axes or whatever they come with it's just added gear for them to hold on you know hold their weaponry then he comes with this cool looking dagger and this is cool i mean look how um what's the word i'm looking for it's nature-esque so to speak the wood Tilt all the way up to where the blade is right here and then it has uh, um, you know everything's painted in the brown but then it has the spikes coming through and I don't know if that's supposed to be more wood or if that's something that was added on there but then you have the blade which makes it you know it actually looks like it was made of stone kind of and you know you see it's serrated back here and then the chips so this is this is actually a cool looking weapon I mean, this is the first that I've ever seen a weapon like this, but that is actually really, really cool. And I like the way they did the, the tree branch or that they used to make this weapon with. So really cool. Then you have his uh, shield. Now this shield is more tech kind of, it's not so organic like. And I love the way that it has the green inside this you know brown looking uh shield and here's the back where he actually just holds on to it and yes it does swivel very nicely done beautiful shield i i, I think this is a great shield it just it looks more uh techy than anything considering that you have that dagger that's more natural and then moving on we have his sword which has a bunch of hieroglyphs going through and this is a cool looking sword so you have you have the organic look going through, but then you have almost this um, modern type hilt with it. As it, you know, and, and and I mean, even the sword itself. I mean, it's just such a broad-looking sword. But then the the hieroglyphs that are written, that are etched into the blade. Very nice. Very very nice sculpt. All right, so now that that's all out of the way, let's get into taking a look at the way this guy is. So, Perplore is 
you know, he, he, he's just, just he's cast, you know, he's just all purple plastic. Uh, this is a great homage to uh, Panthor from Masters of the Universe, Keltor's cat. Like, you know, He-Man's battle cat version of this guy, which I'll show off later in this video as a comparison. But, he, I mean, that's awesome. Just awesome. Just a great homage to Panthor, just the same way as uh, Krona was a homage to um, Kronos, which is also known as Trapjaw. So anyway, moving on with the review. I love the way that this head sculpt is of this Panther. Nice black on the nose, beautiful green eyes. I love the way the hair texture goes through. I mean, they, they the four horsemen, and they did work on, that's what I was trying to think of on the other review that I did of Krona, was it was Master of the Universe classics that they worked on. I mean, those guys did amazing pieces, amazing pieces. And 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 look, this Mythic Legions, amazing pieces. All right, so moving on. Sorry for the rant. Uh, like I said, he's mostly all cast in, in purple. And then you get down to his gauntlets on his hands, which they all come in their own unique style. I like the way this guy's style is. On his armor and then you come down to the armor around the belt i love the way the greens and the gold are on no slop no muss beautiful sculpt very nicely done and then this is here for room for the tail of course moving down to the legs they have the standard armored feet uh the same way as chronos and uh you know the uh, battle cat i'm gonna keep calling battle cat because i can't remember his name but yes they're all the, the standard armor on the knees all the way down to the legs and i love the way they did the brushing in there to give it some some type of uh, um detailing to bring out the little details so they're not all lost with the nicks and the scratches and the dings and the dents and and the armored feet very nicely done four horsemen have knocked it out of the park with these guys these masters of the universe homage figures are just fabulous now, enough of my ranting, like I said before, and I do apologize. Uh, let's get into his articulation. So his head can go side to side. He can look up that far. All right. He can look down that far. He does not. He has an ab crunch. I apologize. He has an ab crunch, goes that far, and he moves back that far. He just doesn't have the upper torso swivel. That's what I was trying to get to. And then his arms can move out that far. And he has uh, uh, just a single jointed, and mine's kind of turned, but a single jointed elbow. And he has his shoulder, which can move all the way around. And he has a forearm swivel. And then he has his wrist swivel. And they're, they're really, is there, oh yeah, there is, a, there is a side to side wrist articulation. I almost missed that one, almost. So, and then he does, he does not have a, um, bicep swivel because he has the forearm swivel does he have, oh and he has the elbow swivel i did for <laughs> i almost overlooked the elbow swivel even though i did turn it right in front of you guys in the camera so i apologize for that he can turn side to side and his legs whoop and it, that plugs right into there so that just comes out so the armor just does does pop off so that's good to know so his leg his legs can move, wow, mine doesn't want to move. That's crazy. This side moves freely. Oh, wow. That's crazy. This guy's seized up. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. I kind of, I hope I didn't break him. Yeah, he's, wow, he's seized up. I'm going to have to heat that up. But, yeah, as I keep trying to do it on camera, that is all seized up in there. We're going to have to heat that up later. All right, so then moving on, he has a knee swivel. He has single jointed knee. And then moving down to the boot, he has his foot articulation. So he has his ankle swivel. His foot can move that far forward because of the actual armor itself stopping it. And then his foot can move back that far because of the armor in the back as well. All right. So that takes care of all the articulation. I'm definitely gonna have to heat that up to get that uh, taken care of. And then because this popped off, this just pops, plugs right back in there. So no worries if it pops off on you or anything like that. All right, so 
let's get into the head articulation. I mean, the, the, the alternate heads. And that's how he looks with his alternate head. And that right there, my friends, is a crazy looking purple goblin. Crazy, crazy looking purple goblin. I like him. Uh, yes, yes, yes indeed. I think that's, that's cool. I mean, I'm not gonna pose him like this, but that's definitely awesome. I guess he could transform, right? So here is the other part of of him, which makes him crazy looking strong, I guess, in his transformation into becoming uh, a stronger version of Perplar. Per Perplar, per Perplar. Yeah, something like that, Perplar. Then these just kind of plug into these peg holes in the back as I try to say his name correctly or incorrectly. So I do apologize. And yeah, I, I do believe that when you plug these in, and push them on, these would sit, I'd have to say they would sit up here on the armor, right? They're like big, huge football pads. Boy, this side just does not want to go on. At least they don't go in that deep, I guess. All right, so that, <laughs> It's just wicked. And then his tail, of course he has a peg hole down here and you have the actual ball peg on the actual tail. <sighs> just gotta shove it right in his bum. Oh, and there goes everything. Batman is down. Things just falling apart tonight. <laughs> All right, so there he goes, put his tail on him. Gives him some added balance. And there we go. All right, so let's fix this. And uh, yeah, Batman just kind of fell down, kind of doesn't want to stay up now. All right, I'll be right back, let me fix this. All right, now that I have fixed the background problems, um, where did I leave off? Okay, yeah, the tail. So I put the tail on and now you can slip this over, which I'm not gonna do. I didn't do that in the last video. The weapons, of course. So you can actually, I always say this is always easier done off camera than it is on. Let me get these off here. They don't wanna stay on there anyway. So there he is with his knife. And then let's see if we can get the shield into this hand. Always gently spread the fingers apart a little bit. All right, and then just plug that in there like so. And there you have him with his knife and his shield. Pull that right out. and take his sword, just pop it right in there like that. And now you can have him with his sword and his dagger. I can just get him to stand now. All right, so yeah, that's that's a long type of sword too. But there he is. He's holding it. You know, you're not gonna lose anything. All right. So let's get ready to compare this guy. And there goes Batman again. I have no idea what's going on tonight, but he just doesn't want to stand. So we're just gonna leave him down and about in the background there. <laughs> so I do apologize for all that nonsense there. And if you don't want to, like, I, I, you know, that's cool with the with the big thick neck and stuff like that. But I'm not going to be posing him with uh, with that thing on there. And as far as the tail is concerned, it's supposed to help balance him out, I guess. I mean, I didn't have him with the tail on there to begin with. But let me, um, let me scoot him back some without knocking everything all over the place. All right, and let's get ready to do some comparisons. Here's how he compares to the Mythic Legions. 
Krona. And here's how he compares with the Mythic Legion's homage to Battle Cat, which <laughs> I can't remember his name, but this is how he looks. All right, now this is how he compares with all three figure, I mean, all both figures together. So all three of them together, that's what I meant to say. So here's how he looks. All right, so anyway, let's wrap this video up. Um, those are the comparisons of the Mythic Legion figures that I have. I'm sorry for all the chaos and everything that's going on over here this evening and the background falling apart as I'm doing this video. And yes, you can see Scare Glow in the back and Savage He-Man in the back as well uh, for the background. Anyway, this is how I'm going to um, show this character off. And yes, taking a look at what I did with both of them, because they're great homages to um, Panthor and Battle Cat. So I took the He-Man harness, shield, and power sword, and then the cape, the battle harness of Skeletors, along with the Havoc staff and power sword. And if I was able to actually put some of Trap Jaws um, accessories on this figure, I would. But this is this is this is this is how they're going to be, and this is how um, yeah I'm going to have them. And, and, and look, that that's that's cool because I'm just going to put them on the shelf, and that's the way they're going to stay. Uh, yeah, guys, this figure here is um, a great homage to. Panther, you know, Skeletor's Panther. So yeah, uh, if you get a chance to pick them up, do so if you want to add them to your collection right along with uh, Krona and of course, like I said, Battle Cat there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below and I will catch you all on the flippity flip.